if I were to marry Zach, I think his best qualities are that he's a good listener. I think he can always make people laugh. You are extremely loyal to the ones you love. Yeah. I think you are, contrary to belief, very respectful. I think sometimes people, and I really don't like when people do this online, they just get a, you have have a bad rap. And like when people hate you, they're like, yeah, Zach's just a piece of shit. Like he's actually really nice. What about me? What do you think? I Do you think I'd be a good wife? Why are you dressed like that? No, you're not a little drunk. You don't drink. I started picking up drinking recently because you do it and I want to be more like yummy. Why are you dressed like that? What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 80 of the Prop House. Are you going to answer why you're dressed like that? It's a family business. <laughs> my dad was and my uncle and my dad grandfather all drink the beer, so I'm going to start doing it just like my family wanted me to. Amen to that. Why are you dressed like that? Try and press. Dress to impress, huh? Why, why is this such a big deal to you? Huh? Because it's weird. Why is it so weird that I want to look good for once? You're a whore. For once. What? You're a whore. <laughs> Everybody knows it. But me? I'm nothing but a beautiful man. <laughs> Dude, the drama with you is insane. <laughs> Did that Get hurt? the intro music. <laughs> Did that hurt? Brother, I think I accidentally bought a real one. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited. Uh, I was so that. excited I bought that. Um, for our audio listeners. You're going you're gonna to start buying those on the regular. <laughs> oh, 100%. For our audio listeners, I just busted a stone cold glass of beer right on my head for content. And you're welcome. Did you think when I hit my head that I actually hurt myself? <laughs> I was hoping for it. Oh, okay. I thought you'd be like, Zach, don't. And then you like maybe like jump in the way of the. Um, no. Of it, any of it's it. It's all in your hair. Is it? It's little shards everywhere. Is, but is it kind of like beautiful little crystals? <laughs> it kind of just looks like you have lice. Lice? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I didn't want it to do. Did we already hit the intro music? Yes. <laughs> Are we sure? Because I don't feel like I didn't even hear it. Yeah, you heard it. Oh, brother. Welcome to Drop It. Isn't that fun? So much is when happening. When someone cares so much about their job that they show up and uh, they... Gosh. Your, your mic is falling flaccid. What do we call this? Limp dick. No, no, no. Whiskey oh, dick. No. Whiskey dick. Uh, sad mic. We sad used to call mic. the sad mic back in the day. Hold on. Actually, give me a second. It looks like you're fi- you don't know how to work your fingers. Well. That, I mean. Checks that. out. Checks out. She knows what. One time. What do you? No. What? What did you think I was going to say? One time I fingered you. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> you, we know what happened more than once. Hold on. I got to no, put this thing. Stop. Th- stop telling people that. <laughs> This goes out to thousands of people that already think. Can you guys talk to each other for a second? I am on. I didn't know we were. This is my D day. Can I figure this out? She's been coughing a lot. I really don't want to talk to her. She could get sick. Last night he was like, "Why are you coughing all the time?" And I'm like, "I have asthma, and I'm always really like scared because I'm a hypochondriac of people being sick around me." So he's like, "You cough like a lot for someone who's so scared of people getting sick." But it's like I'm not sick. The cough, the the cough hate goes one way with you, and it's you. You attack. I, I cover my mouth. I wish you wouldn't. I don't open mouth cough like a child. Like, Ugh. you know what I'm talking about? I well, I don't know if that was a cough. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You good, buddy? You Welcome started. to drop out. Um, okay, I do have to say something. Is this creepy? If I went up to a woman and I was like, I want to use all my five senses with you. Immediately, yes. Immediately creepy or immediately like I'm in. Immediately creepy. Okay, I was into it. Maybe it's a guy thing. I'm walking to a bar, just smashed myself in the head. People are very scared. I want to use all my five senses with you. Hard ish. I'm a, am I hard? Yeah. Yes. I'm in all the way. In. Have you ever used your five senses with someone? Like all of them? What is that? Touch, smell, taste. That's here. Listening. Yeah. You probably don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Never I don't mind. do that. Yeah. You've definitely touched and tasted, but what's the fifth listening one? part? Um, is there feel? Five? Wait, no touch, taste, hearing, smell, smell. Is that the one we missed? Yeah. So well, you, well, well, no, I just counted four again. No, I didn't. No, it, touch, taste. Smell, listen, smell, hear. Smell, listen. Oh, hearing. Smell. We already <laughs> said smell. Brother. Vision. Vision. Yeah, I definitely don't listen, so I'm too busy yapping. Yeah, you're too busy talking everybody's ear off. Speaking of listening, if you guys don't join our Patreon, I'll punch you in the mouth right now and I'll break your nose forever. Huh? Also, uh, we're doing a segment where uh, on, so for the Patreon, we do after school specials. You get 20, 30 minutes of extra footage of this podcast. Uh, you also get podcast early. But a one little secret thing we're going to do on the after school special this week is Tara and I 
are going to viciously make love and then we're going to review it. So we're not going to put that on camera, but we're going to go upstairs, come back downstairs, review it. And then she's going to go to uh, Skylar and then Jared. Um, he's going to be back soon. He's doing a little video shoot right now. I don't know if Alyssa, Alyssa wants to do anything lesbian, but you're more than welcome. And then uh, we'll do a ranking system. How fun does that sound? I Join the Patreon in the description. It could be the first comment on this video. Who even cares, dude? Is it a round robin I style? I did not consent to any of this. Yeah. I want everyone We're to know that. We're drawn straws. Well, like we each have to bang everybody. No, dude. He's oh, just, yes. You're just talking at this point. Talking like you don't talk. even know what you spew out of your mouth half the time. You know that? What's it like looking in a mirror? <laughs> I think, wow, gorgeous. Thank you. Not you. Brother. When I look in a mirror. I was saying, you were describing yourself. And then I said, what's it like looking in a mirror? I was too busy thinking about your You're, stupid spewing. You'll never be my reflection. It's like in my mirror. Oh, oh. my mirror staring, staring back, back at me. me. The, the amount of people in this house whose um, appearances you've changed because you said you find it attractive is alarming. Skylar has a mustache now. Yeah. Because you said, I, I would love to ride that mustache. Yeah. And then Jared has a mullet. mullet. because And he has done a mustache for me. Because she wanted to grab onto the mullet when she was pegging him. Yes. No, dude. I just. That's what you said I, I, out loud. I will say, I feel like it's happened. And this isn't to like lick my own ass and toot my own horn. Okay. There's so many different ways to pat myself on the back. Sure. That, <sighs> that I've like changed a guy's appearance. And I'm like, dude, I don't want you to change. It's just a suggestion. Like um, you should grow a mullet. Yeah. And they immediately change. Do you know, there's only one guy on this podcast. Only one person on this podcast who hasn't changed <laughs> for you. I beg to differ. What have I done? You're wearing pink. It's my favorite color. No, I did. The, okay. Actually, the reason I have a suit on is I had to do a, a video shoot for David Alvarez. We were doing um, dating based on Valentine's Day outfits. And I went to my local tux guy, my lo local suit guy, and I go and get a suit. Last time it was like a hundred bucks uh, to rent it for the day. And I go in this time and I was like, yeah, let's do the same setup. I got another shoot tomorrow. And he's like, okay. He measures me up. He touches my neck. It's a beautiful thing. But we spent some time in there, so I can't say no at the end once I see the price tag. He charged me four hundred fifty, five hundred dollars to rent a suit. What? You can't also call him your your suit guy if he's banging you on prices. <laughs> Dude, he's bending me over sink on these prices. He also gave us not a great rec re restaurant recommendation. I don't know if we can trust him. It felt like we could really trust him because at first, didn't he say he's like, oh, it would be about like two hundred something, and then even at the and then I was like, oh, and then we get to the register, and all I said was, could I add a black Shirt to it, it jumped up to four fifty, and it's a rental. Oh, allegedly, just like you for the night, most nights. Sorry, it is your wait. Choice. And four fifty is the same rate. That's crazy. It is. Hold on, Alyssa wants to bring up abortion. No, it is your choice to get a suit every time. Oh, so I think you're bringing you don't up have some else suit. What do you mean? Like you don't have to wear a suit so, for these videos. So you're blaming a man for something. But you choose. God, Good this, for you. That's not very 1950s of you, Alyssa. No, I loved it. Not at all. I loved every second of it. Um, Good job, Alyssa. I think Keep I might going. have. Bought it because there's tags on it. Did you buy it? I think <laughs> yeah, that's I think the problem. I, own, I think I own this now. Yeah, because for okay for four fifty, that's fine. You could own a pink suit, but like, are you ever gonna wear it again? It looks nice on you, to be honest. Thank you. Can you, you get a nice can, you, can you wear it to my one mil party? When I hit a million on YouTube, I plan on throwing a really big. I party. thought you were talking about how many guys have been in you. I was like, <laughs> wow, I figured you would pass it a long time ago. But it's a it's a, a YouTube thing. Cool, really cool. You're on one today. Thank you. Don't wink at me. That's what I do. <laughs> it's one of the things I do for fun. I, oh. Can I talk about something that happened last night? Let her rip. I, uh, do you know why the intelligence of this room goes down <laughs> when you walk in? Because I make fart, fart jokes. Oh, you were laughing because it was a fart joke? Yeah, because you said, let it rip, and I went. Oh, I didn't hear that part. I thought you were laughing. <laughs> no, I went. I thought the mic just went out. For <laughs> no, I No, I get it. You want to run it back? We'll run it back. So, uh, from the top. It's, it's, it's something, and then. Let it rip. Let it. <laughs> oh, good oh one. my gosh. How would you think of it? Uh, it just came to me. Yeah, usually it's on you. Okay, listen. <laughs> Last night I did stand-up comedy. I was out there with a microphone in my hand and it was my first time doing it at the comedy store. I was very, very excited because, you know, this is this place is built legends. If you don't know about the comedy store, it's the place to do comedy. And I get there and I figure it's going to be a lot of people working on stuff. Um, I'm in my friend's show. That's how you explained it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought it was just everybody's going up there, testing out some material. Super chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was either, I was supposed to go on second uh, of the night, which is where the newer comics go up. Um, instead, a gentleman walks in, bald by the name of Bill Burr. <laughs> and he asked if he can do a quick 20. And when I say that man 
Tommy Gunn the room. <laughs> it's Bill Burr. Exactly. I shit myself. I'm in the green room and then Bill Burr just walks in. And he's just, eh, I think I'm going to do a quick 20. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, of course. And of course he's going to go in front of me. I have no merit to be like, not, not unless I go champ. <laughs> so he goes and absolutely steals the giggles from everyone's souls. And then I'm waiting longer. Um, and I was like, okay, I have to follow this. And then another comic jumps up there and decides, he comes up to me, hey, do you mind? I got to go somewhere. Do you mind if I get a quick 10 in? Uh, Kamel. Najiani. Uh, Najiani. Famous. He's in Marvel stuff. Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Very yeah. funny. Very I, funny. When, like, when Bill Burr came up, I leaned over to both of them. I was like, he's so fucked. Zach's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Sky, Sky literally whispered in my ears like, Zach's fucked. <laughs> do you know what it's like, look, like reading over your notes and then just hearing... <laughs> An avalanche of laughter. Yeah. I shit my pants for you. I was, I was like, oh, he's, this is a nightmare situation. What would you think if you had to do, it's your first time at the comedy store, very early in the standup and maybe the best standup on the planet. How would I have done it? This goes, yeah. Hey guys, I got to go. Something came up. <laughs> Man, sickness yeah, is That's what I would have done. Yeah. My, I, my mom You died. were so brave. Easily I would have been like, sorry, I, I just threw up. Like I have, I, have a, I have the flu. Like I would have lied because when I saw Bill Burr go up and he leaned over <laughs> and said, he's fucked. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And I kept, I felt so bad for you, Zach. Thank I you. kept looking back and you were like literally religiously like scrolling on your phone, like reading your notes over and over again. Like I saw panic in your eyes. Well, I didn't know what bit I wanted to do. So I was like reviewing because I was like, all right, that was funnier than anything this would ever be. Oh, let's try this one out. And I, uh, I went up there. I wouldn't say I bombed. But no, I think you did amazing. I think it's unfair that you went after Bill Burr. Oh, I think it's perfectly fair. It's, it's hilarious. That's the funniest joke I told all night was- Bill Burr went in front of me and to think I could even hold a candle is yeah. hilarious. I don't think you bombed, but I also think like- Oh, wait, sorry. Is that okay to say? She's the one who said it. Heritage. It's, sorry, it's her heritage. She can say it. Um. Anyways, I don't- You can say it. Yeah, I don't think you bombed. I just B think- B-word. There's room to grow, obviously. It was like oh, yeah, second obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew. So it's not like the, mo the best thing I've ever heard you say, but it was like- I laughed. I also, I I'm yeah. not saying it was funny. I laughed funny. really loud. Yeah, I'm not saying it was funny. Alyssa just keeps going. Out. Like it's- But could, would you rather be gassed could up I read, in your ass could the I whole time? In, okay, let's just say gassed up. <laughs> you two with your booty hole stuff has got to no, go. No, I'm just saying like- Alyssa's just like, I, I mean, yes, could I have read the encyclopedia out loud and it probably would have been funnier? Yes. Well, that actually would have been funnier if she would have done it because of all of her impediments. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you say neighborhood? No. <sighs> Wait. This is new to me. She has a speech and she has several speech impediments. Do but, you really? I've never heard anything. But it's only yeah. on very specific words. Mm. It's, I, I, was, I had a speech impediment when I was younger. There it is. And I went to classes for it. I did And too. I mixed up my R. Okay. <laughs> and I went. Gotcha. I did my R's and W's mixed oh, up. Okay. Neighborhood. Okay. okay. Let's all. Okay. I'll say. You say neighborhood. Neighborhood. I'll try it. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay. Let's see. If, what about Alyssa? Let it rip. It's good. It's We're fun. Hanging neighborhood. Out. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. It's just oh, no, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. as tall as a toddler and you speak like, like one and it's really cool. Zach. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Dude, what if Alyssa is like nine and we didn't know it? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Be really I would put myself in the court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The things that we've thought about doing. Done. You consummated? How was it? No, I, but I just... Oh, oh, <laughs> I oh, A-OK? -okay? A-1. A <laughs> Ooh, Alyssa, I knew you had that thing on I want to go back. That strap. Because I didn't mean to say, I didn't want to say that it wasn't funny. I laughed and I thought it was very funny. I just know that you would be so much. I didn't think it was so very much, funny. I, I just know you'll be say. so much like better if I, in the future. If I was better, I get it. No, in the future, because you'll practice more. You'll have more like experiences. Like, I almost called you out on stage. You should. You should call I was, people out. You should have called us out because no one knows we're your friends and we would have played along. Yeah. I well, was like waiting for it, to be honest. I almost brought up <laughs> but I didn't. You can, you can. He panicked. Wait, wait what? cut that Jared. out. Jared wait, no, we, out. We've, we've already included that before. No, he No, it's been bleeped. It. Oh. But no, you can definitely <clears throat> include that. I don't, if it's in, for a crowd, like, I don't care about that. I didn't know. I didn't want to just out you for, you know, you being <laughs> in front of everybody. Cut that, Jared. <laughs> That's the one that stays in. Everything. Like, oh wow. Good oh, do her. we want to talk about what happened uh, yesterday when we were trying to clean out the garage? We might have new friends. I don't know, and this is not pushing you out, but we met. How do I say this in a way that doesn't look like I'm being derogatory? Crackhead. We met a crackhead <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. When locally, locally, yeah, specifically outside <laughs> of our house, and she comes up very much strung out 
Well, hold on. You know for a fact? No. Yes. But <laughs> um, she was carrying we, we, copious we, amounts of tinfoil. <laughs> what? To make hats. I'm sure it's craft night we, somewhere. Uh, oh, we, no. had been, we had been cleaning out the garage. You saw her? No, but you know what tinfoil is used for? Is you wrap it around uh, tags in the grocery store so it doesn't beep when you, not the grocery store, like yeah. the department store, so it doesn't beep as you're stealing stuff when you leave. How'd you know that? Criminal minds. I think oh. she stole my heart. Oh, oh my she gosh. stole. Yeah, she put tinfoil around that uh, price tag. La- yeah. Last night, my friend thought you guys were dating. Did you say no? <laughs> well, they, they sat by each other and they I, were- I said no. Oh, you sure said yes. Why not? Why? Well, it's you guys are hooking on, but what's the difference? Yeah. We're not. What? Oh, Don't she was worry. going out there. Cut that, Jared. Uh, we have to talk about the other thing too, because I that is, I have to ask, get Tara's, Tara's opinion on that. But back to the to the crackhead story. We had been cleaning out the garage because we want to turn it into like a pool situation. Uh, Irish pub. We want to turn. You the- guys are putting a swimming pool in the garage. Pool table. Oh no, honey. No, wait. Sorry. Wait, were you? Re- that was serious, darling. For one second, I was like, "Is it a kiddie pool or like?" A hot tub. You care if I go? I, I just wish natural here. selection would make its way back to the United States. We got to take some of these people out. So, but the garage was a mess. There was a ton of shit in there. There was an old couch and the legs are broken on it. Can't even, it's like, it's tilted like this. And so they're, we, they're, they're like Tar's legs after a long weekend. Just very, very ran through walking weird now, you know, barely hanging on. I didn't say that. I didn't think that either. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so we put a bunch of shit outside that we were going to get rid of, like give away, whatever. The couch is out there. We were going to try and fix the legs and then give it away for free. We were, me and Zach came back from lunch yesterday and I, this woman walked by. I didn't see the tin foil. I saw a Home Depot bucket. Filled with foam. Filled with foam. What? So we don't know what that was being used for. But again, I didn't have my glasses on. So from far away, I couldn't depict yeah. that she was on drugs. But she was like, talk. she was like, is this couch? What's the deal with this couch? I was like, <laughs> Yeah, we're going to give it away. And, and then this guy was like, you want it? And, and she's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I'll take it. She's like, you guys know where the local park is? <laughs> Verbatim. And we're like, maybe. She's like, yeah, that's where I'm going to take it. And then I was like, cool. But I was like, are you sure you want it? The legs are broken. And she's like, no, she looks at me like I'm the dumbest person in the world. She goes, I don't care. I'm homeless. <laughs> like, I'm stupid. And I'm like. Yeah, that checks out. She's like, I'll sleep in the V. Like, like she'll set the couch up like this and sleep in the V in the like middle. Like a hot dog in a bun. Um, uh, and then I did invite her back because she, I didn't want, she was like, she was like, yeah, I'll take the couch. I was like, okay, well, I mean, I don't know how you're going to move it. It's just you. And she was like, cause, and I didn't want us to have to like drive it down to the park and litter. Oh, lit- we we're not yeah. littering. We're throwing a couch in a park. No, we're, you're right. I feel like that's not a yeah. smart move. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. And so I didn't want to do that. That's and I was all like, I was like, we got to get this couch out there for her. <laughs> I was like, so you're gonna have to bring you're gonna have to bring someone back. She's like, yeah, I'll bring someone back. I'll I'll be back in a little bit. Never came back. She and got lost. She did get lost. She got lost. She kept on asking us where the uh, Wells Fargo was. I, maybe I don't know what for, but she's like, have I passed it? <laughs> and we were like, we don't know. She's like, I think I passed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. She was like, I'll come back in like an hour with some people. <laughs> she's she's like, how do I get in? And we're like, uh, just get into what your house. <laughs> yeah. She asked for the gate code. <laughs> She's like, uh, yeah, how do I get in? And then we're like, oh, just like ring the doorbell. She's like, well, what's the gate code? <laughs> no. And we're like, uh, I thought Sky was going to give it to her. Um, that poor lady. I, feel- I, I really hope she finds a couch. I hope she takes our couch still. Yeah. I'm, she can have it. Exactly. There's a bunch of shit out there they could take. I just love that she called me an idiot. She's like, I'm homeless. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I'm like, yes, ma'am. I apologize for even. She had a black eye too. That made me sad. Yeah. That part made me sad. But we were very kind to her. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I'm sure. So no swimming pool in the garage. No, Just want to make yet. that clear. There's a swimming pool in the backyard. Yeah, but Zach doesn't let me in it. He says no slots allowed. No, no, no. Thank it's you. just the last time you got in it, you um, entire <laughs> pool changed colors. And I just thought that was a little gross. <laughs> yeah. You have a good like office deadpan face. Like someone pans you, you're, like, like the gym smile. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Thanks. I think it's the first time Sky has ever complimented me. Oh boy, he does though. When you're not around, he gets a little nervous when you're in person. Because, Super nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. What? I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. gonna, I'm gonna let that get to my head. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like how that feels? Stop. Oh, wait, I have a question. I have an answer. Okay, let's say we lived in the same house and me and you shared a bathroom. We're not in a relationship. We share a bathroom. I love how you have to make that clear. I just, I just set the, the table. Yeah, yeah, hypothetically, hypothetically. Would, would you, if you go to use the restroom, would you lock the door? No. Would you. Would you think that if the door is closed that it's being used? Yeah. 
the okay. fuck? Are, even, whose sides are they on? Yeah. Here? Wait, wait, this sounds wait, like this, an Axis wait, thing. Yeah, you guys are this, on Axis side, aren't you? We're wait, allies. Did this actually happen? Yeah, it happened with me. Oh, Alyssa. who walked in on who? I walked in on her. <laughs> you were peeing or pooing? I don't know. I got out of there fast. <laughs> well, he walks in and I go. And I was high. <laughs> <laughs> and I go. I was to say, the fuck is going on? Were you like? Were you like? On the toilet, yeah. like cheeks on the toilet. Yeah. This is what, dude. But it was kind of strange because I don't know. You can tell. All right, she was like sitting on the side of the toilet. Caddy, caddy, no, but caddy cornered a little bit, like showing showing the full bird. I think so. Sky would walk in and see the muffin. You and weren't th- even home. You don't think he told me everything in <laughs> excruciating not detail? Not he drew it from memory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he created a comic strip. I had to follow it, and then at the end, I was like. <gasps> Not the muffin. <laughs> <laughs> so was, I, I walked Wait, did that actually happen? Yeah, it happened, yeah. It happened like three, two nights ago. And you guys like talked about it after? Well, well I, I walked in right to his room right after. <laughs> she knocked on You my confronted, room. you knocked. Yeah, he I said, knocked. I'm a knock. He goes, thanks for knocking. I said, I just <laughs> barged in. I just think it's a little, lock the door to the bathroom. Have you seen that episode of Friends where one of them walks in the other one naked and so now they're trying to get each other back and be like, now I have to see you naked just to even the playing field? You got to do that. No, because the door is always locked when I use the restroom. <laughs> no. Which is smart. When he's just not being a general back walking your room and be like, Oop. doesn't have a lock. <laughs> I'm clothed in there. Always? Yeah, for the most part. I feel like I'm always naked. Yeah, trust me. I mean, me. I sleep I like know. in boxers, but uh, yeah, I'm never dick out. You titty flashed everyone last night. Okay. No, I didn't. I almost did. The whole room caught a whiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of my boobs? Under boob, yep. Your destroyed areolas. Okay, that's offensive because you know about the piercing scars. <laughs> We didn't mean Zach laugh. It's just so. <laughs> you don't have scars, right? Why'd your voice go up two octaves, right? Because we've all seen them. Alyssa saw them. Alyssa saw. I, I will say Alyssa has seen them, but no one else has seen them. I don't like to lie on camera. Dude, people already think that we're schmanging and we're not. Well, you aren't anymore, no. No. We cut it n- off. We never what the are. Heck, dude? What happened? Dude, okay. Dude, stop. We're having a conversation. This is getting clipped. Clothes. Okay, the other night, she had the beaver out. It's to the point where my cousins are texting me. She had old My PNG manager out. texted me. What'd your manager say? This is great for, um, this is great for your socials. <laughs> no. She oh, was like, the opposite? Are, this is terrible. No, she was like, are you and Zach together? And she, she FaceTimed me, she's like, don't lie to me. I'm like, I'm literally not lying. But do you want to be? Alyssa, I'm pretty hungry. What about you? Me too. What do you want to eat? I have no idea. That's what I would say without every plate, AKA America's best value meal kit. It's 2024, and that means we need to stop stressing over what's for dinner. Every plate provides plenty of delicious variety with more than 25 tasty and affordable recipes that change every week. So that means it's easy to find something flavorful and satisfying for every meal of the day. Like breakfast 24-7 or 15-minute or less meals. And every plate does this without compromising the quality. They only source the highest quality ingredients so that you know all of your food is going to be fresh and flavorful. And the reason every plate is America's best value meal kit is because they purposely set themselves apart with their lower prices. And one of those affordable and delicious meals that we had this week from every plate are the spicy bean and pepper quesadillas. And oh my God, they were fantastic, weren't they? They were probably one of the best meals I've ever had. So if you want delicious meals from every plate, you can get a meal right now for $1.49 plus $1 steaks for life by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and enter our code 49 dropouts. Subscription must be active to qualify and redeem the $1 steak. Again, get started with every plate for just $1.49 per meal plus $1 steaks for life by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and entering code 49dropouts. Subscription must be active to qualify and redeem $1 steaks. Thank you, every plate. Alyssa, if I were to ask you how many subscriptions you had, would you be able to list all of them and how much you're paying? Absolutely not. And what if I told you that there is a service that could tell you exactly that and save you money on the ones that you're not using? That? is amazing. Well, let me tell you about Rocket Money. So Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you find and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. It monitors your spending and it helps you lower your bills just overall. So you're telling me I can see all my subscriptions in one place and if I want to cancel, all I have to do is tap. And you never have to deal with like getting on the phone with customer service ever again. It's fantastic. Sign me up. 
And on top of all of that, another reason Rocket Money is like number one in my heart is because they'll even try to get you a refund on a few months of wasted money. All you have to do is send them a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped its members save an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. And I'll tell you guys from personal experience, the moment I signed up with Rocket Money and it went through all of my spending habits and stuff like that, I personally saved like $500 instantly. Okay, so they, they've they already done a lot for me. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Again, start saving your money with Rocket Money. That's rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Thank you, Rocket Money. It's the 21st century. If you don't have a website by now, buddy, what are you doing? Okay, get yourself a website. You can use it for anything. You can use it for a job resume. If you're a photographer, you can put up your portfolio on, on there. You can use it to sell merch and other e-commerce products, okay? They have an all-in-one platform that takes care of all of the e-commerce sales for you. You can start a blog and talk about your ex. Okay, that's getting a little personal, Alyssa, but yeah, if you want to, sure, you can date a guy and then you can start a blog and talk about all your problems on there with him and people are gonna eat that shit up, okay? They're gonna love it. And it, the blog's gonna look amazing with Squarespace. And you know why your blog, portfolio, resume is all gonna look amazing on Squarespace? Why? Because of their award-winning templates. So you're telling me you can make a beautiful, award-winning, maybe job-securing, you know, whatever website without even knowing how to code. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, so say I wanted to start making my website and I wanted to save a little bit of cash when I started, where would I go for that? Well, Jared, I have just the thing. You can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash dropouts for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So all I have to do to get a beautiful website is go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when I'm ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash dropouts and I get 10 percent off. Mm -hmm, exactly. What else can I say? But thank you, Squarespace. Go get yourself a website. What, what are the, what are my best quality? Like if you were to mm -hmm. marry me, why would you do it? And if you have to be honest, please don't bit around for this part. Can you just be genuine? Yeah, for a I'll second? be genuine. Open. If I were to marry, I don't even want to say it. If I were to marry Zach, yeah. don't wink at me, bro. I hate it. I, that's, the, that's the lead in clip. I blink in one eye for efficiency so I can always see you. And now I just did that one. See? Oh, you're better at winking with that eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is my bad Maybe side. Maybe stick to it. Yeah, I would if I didn't do that bit. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I think Zach's best qualities are he's a good listener. As a husband. So he has a husband. <sighs> you're not my husband, though. Yet. Can you say as a lover, at least? No. Let's just set a, gr a ground Because it's going to get clipped. Okay. And uh, look, listen. <laughs> who are we to? We're not going to clip it. We're not going to clip it. But you know, us. We're Cut Lakers to the clip. We're Lakers fans in LA. Okay? I'm a Lakers fan. Yeah. So we're not going to clip them. <laughs> Clippers. That was a dual stadium joke. Clippers. <laughs> I think if Zach were to be a husband. To me. I think his best qualities are that he's a good listener. I think he can always make people laugh. I think Even the um, terminal, Lee Ill. Okay. I think he- A lot of hospital gigs. A lot of hospital gigs. Sorry, What's the ahead. deal with all this hospital food, huh? You think if I'm dying, I could get some more pudding. Maybe you should have done that on stage last night. Maybe we've gotten more laughs. Oh, well, I got zero here, so. Uh, I think- you are extremely loyal to the ones you love. Yeah. I think you are, contrary to belief, very respectful. Oh. Yeah. He is very, very, he always, he always gets consent. I know. It's not even that. I do think, I think sometimes people, and I really don't like when people do this online, they just get a, you have, you have a bad rap. You know what I mean? You're like, people either <laughs> love or hate you. And like, when people hate you, they're like, yeah, Zach's just a piece of shit. I'm like, he's actually really nice. That's me writing those comments. <laughs> I create burner accounts for myself just so when I do it, I have something to blame. What about me? What do you think? I Do you think I'd be a good wife? Yeah, I do for several reasons. Number one, your smile is out of this world. Number yep, two. But those aren't wife features. Stop, stop pointing at my boobs. It's such a big heart. Oh, my heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can pump so much blood into that little body of yours that you'll probably be alive for so long. And since I like hanging out with you so much, it'd be beautiful to spend a long life together. Three. I have to come up with a third. Just one more. I wasn't doing a bit. No, I was, not either. I was so we're, honest. We're just, God forbid. We're I'm honest. Storming. It takes a little bit longer with yours. You know? 
That wasn't a, that. I know that sounded mean, but that wasn't meant to be mean. Okay, you know Trust what? Me. Zach's annoying. He's off-putting. People don't like him because he's rude. Facts. All lies. <laughs> <laughs> All big lies. Can you just say one nice thing about me, Tara? I think you're. Are you doing a Barack Obama impression? I think He's I might trying. have ran into it. Um, no, no, no. You're. I love how sweet you are. That seemed. Forced. I would. I would say she's very empathetic. Thank you. You keep stealing those words right out of my mouth. Um, let's move on, bro. What, Empath- bro? Empathis- empathicism. That was mean. I just sat here and poured my heart out and told you I think you'd be a great husband to whoever a lucky girl out there is. Don't wear jewelry with your initials. Oh, and someone buys you a piece of jewelry and you don't even wear it. I'm not wearing a necklace today at all. Oh, but you have another necklace Thank for Thank you don't for you? catching us up. Zach, you uh, have another necklace for Hold on, you guys yap. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm wearing my initials because I think it's cute. It says T-Y on my rings, like for Tara Yummy. Yeah, that's cute. Wait, individual, like one says T, one says Y. Yeah, this y. is T. I can't, is I can't even see it. Skylar, I feel like if we were left in a room alone, we would have nothing to talk about. I think it starts slow, but I think we'd get into it. You think so? Yeah, we just have to like break the ice a little bit. Mm. You don't think so? Last night when we were out, I found out how Southern he actually is. Why? What did I do last night? <laughs> Nothing. It was really loud at the restaurant we were out because there was like a lot of music. And he was like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And it just made me laugh because I feel like if I was trying to get like a service attention, I'd be like, um, excuse me, miss. You're like, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> excuse me, ma'am. No, you were just like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. In your freaking Georgian accent. I think ma'am is nice. No, it is nice. You weren't being rude. It's just you're so Southern. And I don't realize that until like I spend a couple of minutes with you. I'm like, oh yeah, you're from Georgia. I am, yeah. God's good. Why do you keep buying me jewelry if I'm not going to wear it? Okay, I feel like he's going to propose. He's like in this weird suit. Don't mount her like that. Are you, are you close to me? I don't like this. He's close. Ow, ow, my eyebrow. Oh my. Ow, dude. That hurt. How sweet is that? Bro, <laughs> get this off of me. What? It's a Z for Zach. No, for zesty time when we hang out. Get this off For of friendship. Me. For zebras. Zebras? I have a, I have a question. Xylophone yes. is with an Is X. this real? Can I go pawn it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> you just told me not to wear my own initials, and I just know this is yours, and you wear... This is actually kind of nice. Thank you. If you turn it this way, it's like an N for no thank you. Um, speaking of live shows, I... I, I meant to tell the audience this. Look at me, the audience. I want to do more podcast live shows. So, but we don't know where to do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to comment, hey, this city, this state. And then if you see your city and state, someone else commented, you like it. So we can see which ones we should go to the most. Do you understand? Can I give you a piece of advice? No. Yes. Um, you guys have analytics. So why don't you just look in the back end of it? I trust them more. I like the like thing. Cause, but, cause then it's like, hey, if it was there, I would go there. Like. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got it. Do you have a place you would prefer to go? If ever we could just come over here, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Right here in your living room. I did like New York a lot. That was fun. New York was fun. Um, when I did stand up in New York, it bombed. Was it, Why do you think that is? I don't know. New York and DC were my worst shows I ever had. When mm. I think about it, I think about it almost every night and cry. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> not the crying part. I cry for other reasons. But like when I think about it, it literally ruins my night about how bad I did in New York and DC. I wanna like publicly apologize to the people who came to my DC and New York show. <laughs> to the people who came to my New York and DC show, I'm really sorry, I tried my best. Not good enough. But it wasn't good enough. It That's wasn't. Skylar's. No, I'm saying that apology wasn't good enough. Oh, uh, I tried my best there too. <laughs> how many times How many times a week do you think you, you poop as a, as a small? I think five. Five and seven days? Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes I miss a day. I don't poop every day. I would appreciate it if we took a left here and out of this conversation into, I'm gonna go with anything else. You went get me once a podcast. I talk about poop once a podcast. We all have our quirks. Why is that your quirk? Because Zach's not here. I mean. <laughs> it's okay. We're the same person. <laughs> because Jared's not here for me to comment on his million dollar smile. Why, so, do you, why do you do that every time? Is it to reassure him? Do you feel like he can No, I genuinely feel like he has one. I just feel like you don't think he can build confidence himself. So you're kind of being a little degrading to him. Degrading was the word I was thinking of earlier. <laughs> hey, now we're here. <laughs> now we're back. I feel like I'm being ganged up on. Yeah. We would never gang bang you. <laughs> we would. Even if you asked. Never. I would never ask. And nope. we were telling you don't ask. And we're telling you if you- I have a question. Mm. Do you think you're my type? No, I think I'm exactly the opposite. But I think that's what messes with your head so much. No. And you're just like- My head's not messed with. I'm doing great. And you're just like, man, I just don't get it. I, yeah, he's I, so different than what I'm used to. Dude, he's, uh, this is getting really real. I don't- well, He's got a charm. People are going to think this is- Sadistic. I know. What my, you, my leg fell asleep. Wake it up. I'm trying. What do you think it's dreaming about? 
Maybe it's maybe it's dreaming about walking on a beach and feeling feeling sand between. It's because your feet aren't touching the ground. I know. That's why I hate. We this. gotta get her a little. Yeah. Can stool. we invest in like a little stool? Like I put my legs up on because this is like actually. My docks weigh like three pounds and it's just hanging there. When Jared gets here, I'll lay down underneath your feet and you can put them on my back. I feel like that's like a dream come true for me. I thought you were going to say for him. He's like, oh yeah, please let me. Yeah. No, just to like <laughs> put my legs on a man like this. Why Why do you think that? Human furniture. Do you feel like you're more of a dormitory uh, dominator in yeah. a relationship? Why is that? I don't like being told what to do, ever. Does it stem from anything? Probably authority issues. Jared! This podcast was going south, but now you're here. There's that million dollar smile. Did you win, buddy? Huh? Did you win? I won. Did you fucking win? I a boy. Wait, get in here. Dude. Wait, what did he, what did he win? Well, yeah, hold on. He's got to get on the mic. Okay. Well, bye, Skylar. Bye-bye. Oh, bye, Thank you, Skylar, for filling in. Thank yeah, you, thanks, Skylar, for filling me in. What the fuck happened dude, here? Uh, dude, she comes over and she has like this iced mug thing and she slips and falls <laughs> And now it's all over the Do floor. you believe that? What the fuck is going on? What did I walk into? I I, Jared I, leaves for one podcast. I, I, wanna, I, wa I leave for one podcast and then all of a sudden I come back to shattered glass <laughs> everywhere. I want to. I want you to not know until you edit it. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's okay. means yeah, I that's got fair. in a fight. But just know. Yeah, clearly fucking Mr. and Mrs. Smith over here. My, name, my last name is Justice. Oh, thank you for that. And we're not married. <laughs> so stop spewing unfactual things. Wait, you, you just I thought Skylar was going to go under my feet. Skylar, yeah. you're supposed to go under her feet. Oh, yeah, I'm changing clothes. He's changing clothes. You say he's coming. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely. He's well, you won the dating show? I won, dude. How? I don't, my personality? I don't know. Nice. Yeah. Wow. You let it shine? What? That's amazing. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you that. were saying, wow, is this? You could never win something no, like no, that. No, 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 I've no, got no. a better track record than you now. You came in so hot at me. <laughs> have you ever won one? I have. One? I've won a couple. You've won a couple? I yeah. thought the last win was your first win. No, I won them in the early times. Oh, in yeah, the yeah, early yeah. days. Yeah. Okay. Um, I lost this one today. Um, by, so, a f by a hair. Yeah, I think he had better hair. He had much better <laughs> hair. I, think I honestly think that's why he won. Okay, so Jared was just on a dating show. What were you guys doing? Dating based on... Uh, well, it was supposed to be dating based on Valentine's Day gifts, <laughs> but it ended up just being no, nobody else brought a gift. And so I was the only one with a gift. Oh, so you automatically won. And uh, so he changed it to like oh. dating based on outfits. Um, okay. Actually, one guy did bring another gift. Um, I'll believe this out, but you you know. Was there, were there beautiful women there? Yeah, they were very beautiful. Did you, did you get anybody's number? I No, I did not. I did not get anybody's number. Um, but they were very beautiful. Did the girl that you ended up with want to? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she... Like we got each other's Instagrams, but I don't think it's actually going anywhere. I'm proud of you for winning. Ours Thank was you. really awkward. It was very awkward. But, it was but not even because of. Okay, so essentially, how it works is five guys. Why are you staring at me like that? You seem nasally. Are you sick? No, my allergies are just like fucking whooping my ass right now. Yeah, you seem really sick. I'm not <laughs> sick because I quit it. I feel fine. Remember how you were congested, but you felt fine. He has allergies. I have allergies. <laughs> Have anxiety about it. You didn't turn on the jukebox. See what happens when you're not here. Jeez Louise, what kind of ship are we running over here? Dude, not a tight one. <laughs> yeah, when maybe when you're on the show, old loose gal. Okay, listen to this. Uh, five guys, five girls, they stare at each other in one room, and then we ask each other questions for 10 minutes, and then the guys have to come together and decide which girl we want to eliminate. And the in right front in of them. In front of them. You know what? You guys are just so much braver than me. I would never do anything. I told David. I'm like, David never asked me to do this. I eliminated someone today because she was your friend. And I, and I said- <laughs> Was it Verena? Yeah. I was like, you're friends with Tara, so I assume you're nuts. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, he did say that. <laughs> Dude, people see that. Yeah, that's why I Hot said Hot commodities could see that and then think I'm fucking nuts. You are, you are. a psychopath. But in, a best, in the best way. We love it. Yeah. You're a tornado of fun that we love to see sparingly. Um, <laughs> okay. So you that's want why they keep asking me to come on the podcast. Call no. That's, that's not what we meant. We A tornado of fun. Let's just keep it at that. Can we talk about our first date for a second? And when I say our first date, I mean, Jared's. Yeah. How was your first date? Jared. You never kept me in cahoots. Well, because I knew we were recording the. Freak. I knew we were recording the podcast wait, today. Wait, I'm so excited. Okay, uh, go. Okay, start from the beginning. So from, no, start from the beginning, which is my texts to you. Oh yeah, yeah. Tara was 
kind of talking me down off a ledge. Oh, I think what? Oh, I what? thought you're saying talking what? me down like you don't deserve this woman. Yeah. No, 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 no. Off I mean, ledge. Okay, no, okay. Okay, texted, we're good. We're good. I texted you. I was like, I'm very nervous, right? Yeah. And uh, Tara is the best hype man. She's just, I don't know where my phone went, but in the text, she's mine. just like, yeah, she's just like, you're hot. There's no reason uh, she wouldn't want you, you know, go in with that mindset. It was just like, it's the Tara Yummy mindset. Just a plus hype man. Okay. So that, that really helped. I was like, yeah, she's, she was like, she never would have agreed to like go out with you if she didn't think so. I was like, you know what, Tara, you're right. You're right. Okay. So <clears throat> here we go. The night before I texted him, he was really nervous. So I said, you're really hot. Don't think that way. That's a bad way to think you're hot. She liked you go into it like that. I got no response. So yesterday I'm such a sweetheart in the morning before, you know, he got ready for the day. I said, thinking of you tonight will be awesome. You're so cool and hot and sweet. It'll be sick. You got this. Isn't that the best? And then I said, don't worry, take deep breaths because you're awesome. Any girl would be so lucky to go out with you. I'm not just saying that. You know I'm honest, too honest. She like is. you're so kind and sweet and super cute and girls are fucking stupid <laughs> anyways. Zach's falling asleep. And then he said, aren't we all pretty stupid? I said, I'm pretty and stupid. And I said the best combo. Um, okay, so that's- the date go? The date went well. So I planned- uh, um, she was telling me when we first met that she played a lot of sports in high school and that she's pretty competitive. So I thought it'd be fun. Uh, there's like a putt putt place like down the, down the street from where she lives. And so I thought it'd be fun, you know, yeah, putt -putt. and she was like, perfect. I've always wanted to go there. Never been. I was like, sweet. So we went there. It was great. Um, but you picked her up. Oh yeah. Picked her up. Not so, your own car. Not my own car. Because <laughs> your own car is. Uh, yeah. Oh, we, God, we haven't talked about that. Someone tried to steal my fucking car and they smashed my window. Not How the do Bear mobile. Yeah, exactly. How Not do we, I mean, they're sorry, I'm sure. So I don't think they are. Let bygones I think they're bygones. sorry that they weren't able to get the car. I think they're sorry that they have to stoop so low to try to steal a car. So, so yeah, so you take Alyssa's car. Take Alyssa's car, pull up. And that <laughs> that is like, she she's like, hi, you know, hug. And then she goes, new car. And I was like, funny story about that. Someone tried to steal it. And, uh, so then yeah, she gets in the front seat, but it was a perfect icebreaker, you know, to that like, your car was stolen. Yeah. To start the date. It was like that, a blessing in disguise. Exactly. Something like it, to speak about you guys are riffing and raffing. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Ah, it's like, it is what it is. Like, it, and then she gets to see your personality when tough situations happen. Exactly. You're good under I'm pressure. Fantastic. Fantastic. Under pressure. And then, so, uh, so we get to the place and then we, we don't actually, we didn't get a scorecard. Yeah. So we were kind of just going by whole. So it was like par three. It's like, we were just counting how many strokes it took to get it in. Right. So we were kind of going, yeah. shut up. Yeah. I knew as soon as uh, I said strokes, I just, fucking. I immediately looked at Zach and I was like, <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. My grandpa had a stroke once. I'm thinking that. What are you thinking? Sex. <laughs> oh, no, he no. died. Okay. Over to you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, everything's going fine. Wait, grandpa Larry. No, no, no. He's good. <sighs> I know. Scary. Yeah. And, uh, so everything's going great. We're having good banter. We're talking, getting to know each other. And then, uh, at the end, we don't really know who won, but, uh, it was, it was a good competition. You know, again, activities, great things to do on dates. Yeah, rather, wait, I'm so excited. Keep going. So then afterwards we went to, uh, this Italian restaurant, Prosecco's. Okay. Beautiful the inside. Zach special. The Zach special. Okay. And, uh, you know, I made the reservation. So I walked in and the guy, they have fantastic service there. The guy, I walk in and before I, I went, Hey, and he's like, Mr. Bailey, we've been expecting you. No, that makes you look so cool. I know. The girl is probably fucking creaming in her jeans. If someone did that when I was on a date and they're like, Mr. Bailey, we've been expecting you. I'm like, oh, he's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so then we, uh, so he's like, he's like, right this way. We've got the the table right by the window. Oh, great table. Dude. Oh my God. It could not have been more perfect. Was it so romantic? Yeah. It was in a, it was like low lighting. But what did she like, think of the place when she walked in? She was like, was she like, oh, this is. Yeah. She was like, this is really nice, you know? And the, the server comes over and she's like, these are our specials, you know? And uh, so we, we got like the, the crab cakes as the appetizers, you know? The best damn crab cakes I've ever had. Thank okay. What'd she think? She thought it was amazing. Because so the crab cakes came and I had to go to the restroom. And so I was like, please start without me. I'll be right back. I come back and she's like, oh my God, these are, this is literally the best food I've ever had. I was like, 
Dude, right, off to you're a great start. in. And, uh, you know, we get a couple glasses of wine and you know, we're just chit chatting over oh dinner. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the, you right now. The food's amazing. And we, we were there, we got there at, our reservation was at 8.30 and I think we left at like 11.30. You got to be careful though, because one time I thought I found love in that restaurant, and then I um, now we don't talk anymore. But I'm sure yours is different because don't say that. No, but I'm sure hers is different. I'm just I know, but what, what, don't even say don't you that. Want a little bit of a warning. Don't you want a guy to bring a fire well, extinguisher just in case there's a fire? Uh, yeah, he is very excited. Okay, wait. But he could also be mad. I never know. He's always smiling. I am always smiling. You are. I like so, to mask my emotions with that. Okay, when you laugh, did you guys kiss goodbye? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, what was the banter at the table? We, got, we can't be skipping can't. all the details. I'm such a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. What was the banter like? What was a consistent conversation piece? Uh, you know, like we were just diving into each other's backgrounds, you know, learning about like who we are as people, why we are as people. Um, why we are. Wow. You guys are getting philosophical. Yeah. You know, yeah. we were we were talking about the, the different like ways our parents raised us and um, how that's affected us. What today. did you think about your parents being lesbian? She loved it. Yeah. She well, thought she was, was like, she, yeah. She said they're not getting to heaven, but um, <laughs> she's great. So kissing. Uh, okay. You guys are conversating. Bop, bop, bop. Conversating, you know, throwing jokes and quips back and forth, making each other laugh. You know, that's- Did you guys try each other's, what well, you ordered? Of course. Very yeah. Cute. Very so cute. she got- Wait, that's so cute. Wine? Uh, yes, she, a couple glasses. I apologize couple, in here. Yeah, that. yeah. I got the Pinot Grigio. She got the Pinot Noir. And um, which- the Pinot Noir was uh, Pin. had the same name Pin. as my grandmother. And so I thought, I was like, maybe that's, that's a sign, you know, the Santa oh, Rita. The stroke thing. Okay, no. Um, so yeah, she she got the the salmon, mashed potatoes, and uh, broccoli. Wait, can we go there? That sounds really good. Oh, it's the place is phenomenal. It's kind of a classy <gasps> joint, though. You think you can step it up a little bit? <laughs> you know? Zach, sure. you're in perfect attire. Thank you. So she got that. I got the, I can't roll my R's. So this is going to come out so uncultured, but the Arabiata. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, la, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's like a spicy red sauce with chicken and goat cheese and penne. Mm. Can we go here? This sounds amazing. Oh, it's my favorite. Every, I walked in there, I brought somebody in there and the, uh, all the waiters were like, Hey, welcome back, man. And then the girl was like, <laughs> it's just a new girl times, every time. How many times have you been here? One time, actually, um, this was probably last year. I brought one girl there and she was blonde. And then I brought another girl there that was blonde. Uh, it just didn't work out with the first girl. And the guy, the waiter there, he calls her the other girl's name. Oh my God. But he comes up to me, but he like plays it off cool. He's like, oh, I meant blah, blah, blah. And then I go, go to the bathroom and he like stops me and goes, dude. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> like, I got to be your boy in this. And I really messed up. <laughs> he, he's like, I called her by the wrong name. Do you think she like found it? Like, I'm like, no, no, no. He's like, what happened to the other girl? I'm like, I just didn't work out. I'm like, he's like, <laughs> it's fine. It's, 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 it's going to be okay. He's like, okay. He's like, they just look so similar. I'm like, I know. <laughs> you have a type. I get it. Um, but yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Continue. The, the, the wait staff there is incredible. So, uh, so yeah, we try each other's food. It's fantastic. You know, uh, everything's going well. Afterwards, we realize it's like, okay, we've overstayed our welcome because right. they were closing up shop and everything. Um, and then we went on a little walk. Did you pay? Afterward. Oh yeah, of course. I'm just wondering. Did she do the little, oh my gosh, I could chip in. I took care of it before she even had the chance to do that. So I'm sure she would have, but gotcha. I took care of it. Okay. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, the afterwards we went on a little walk and, uh, cause it's in, uh, it's in Toluca Lake, beautiful area. And then this in classic Jared fashion, this is where shit starts to go awry. Okay. Oof. Not in like a, a terrible way, but in a classic Jared way. So we're walking and I have severe spring allergies. Okay. Oh, no. Um, and the thing about living out here is that it's considerably warmer than most other lo uh, regions of the United States. So spring starts a little early. And uh, on our walk, I start to have an allergy attack. Did and you so, snot rocket on her? No, 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 no. I didn't snot. Okay. It wasn't that bad. But like, it felt like the, the right side of my face was on fire. And I was <laughs> sniffling and I was sneezing and like my, my eyes were watering up. 
And uh, so then we took a little road trip to CVS. <laughs> ah. And, uh, but did, she was very- Did she find all this cute and endearing? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was going to say. <clears throat> she I was being maternal and taking care of her little baby boy, Jared, wasn't she? Exactly. exactly. Did you get high off the allergy pills? No, I wish, man. But it was- bad in the car like I was just like I, I was literally I had my like elbow resting on the the middle console and I was like I had to hold my cheek to the side so that I could fucking breathe okay it was bad but still great banter you know she looked up where the nearest so where are you from <laughs> yeah that's what I sounded like and uh so we go in we get the medicine whatever start to feel better and i was like oh this is this is so embarrassing like whatever and she's like no i find this like quite funny and endearing and i was like this okay this is going well this, this is, is love your life you play pup did you kiss her no but i think it was because of the allergy attack because everything was pointing in that direction like when we were playing um when we were playing putt putt we were like <sighs> Kind of handsy, you know. Handsy. If a guy doesn't kiss it. me goodbye on a date, I feel like on a first date. I don't know. Do you do? Is this a horse thing to say that you kiss on the first date? No, that's normal to kiss on the first date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wait that you didn't kiss her? No, Tara. I was sniffling and like I would. It was not sexy. Like the night very quickly Did turned. She, she clocked it not being sexy. Wait, do I you feel, think she wanted to kiss you? I feel like before the allergy attack, yeah, everything was kind of going that direction. I think I feel like you could have just been like, "Hey, I would love nothing more than to kiss you right now, but I'm a hot mess up top, from the neck <laughs> up. So I think we save it for a more inappropriate." Yeah. Did you? Did you say that? I did not. Um, You're just like, "All right, thanks. Here's a side <laughs> hug." I did. Okay, it wasn't a, was side, it a side hug. hug? No, it wasn't a Do side hug. Do you think she second date? Oh yeah, second date. Has it been planned? Uh, not yet. We're still like gonna figure out the the actual day to do it. But what's um, her name again? I'm not going to say. Wait, you said you were getting handsy. Sorry. Yeah. What does that mean? It's just like, uh, you know, putting like arms on shoulders and stuff like that. Or like um, if you like when we made like a good shot, we would uh, like high five, but like hold the hands a little bit longer. Like than. A- yeah. Oh, my God. This is so cute. And then. At dinner is just very like flirtatious, so everything was going in a good direction. Okay. Uh, and then my body decided to betray me. Maybe she saw a side of you she never would have, and that's the reason that the second date's happening. Because she would have seen, you know, perfection, and I'm not perfect. No, 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 no. no, no this no. is let's, who let's I am. Let's some flaws, yours. It, okay, okay. This is going to be hurtful. Go, go ahead. No, go on. I can't think of more than twelve. <laughs> so I don't think I should go first. Um, what do you think of for the second date? That, I don't know. I, I got to really plan that out. She's a sports girl. Take her to a Lakers game. Yeah. I love Lakers games. Okay. that could That's a good idea. Uh, you're going to spend a little bit of a coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I went to Lakers the other day. Uh, two tickets, $1,100. Where the hell were you sitting? Uh, I was playing. Um, <laughs> but it was, yeah. I didn't just. You do the pottery thing. Could do that. Could do the pottery I have something thing. to say. Please if don't. someone took me to like a nice Italian restaurant for a first date, I think I'd shit bricks. I was telling you this. Because I'm like, I don't know. It feels so formal to go like in a dinner date. Like it makes me like nervous just talking about it. I'm like not much of like a- Like a formal dinner, like go out. You're more no. of like a leave date. the guy's place with your makeup on the back of your head type of girl. On the back of your head? <laughs> it's just like it got so messy that- It's not that. It's more so like, I don't know. Like I just even thinking about like, unless I think I would like date someone, I don't think I would go on even like a first date like that. Maybe I just like, I'm like closed minded. Maybe they just don't ask. I don't know. I, th- I feel like they just don't ask. I yeah. think they don't ask because I make tell. it really clear that I don't want, want to that. do that. But, but what? Nothing. It sounds like you're going to say something. I don't know. I just think it's really sweet. I think if someone like asked me on a formal date like that, if I was like interested, I'd say yes. And it's just like, I can't even think about that because I'd be so nervous to go to like a nice Italian restaurant. Like, I think I would be like so nervous. You're nervous to go to a place where they have Parmesan in like a little bucket and they give it to yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like dinner's so formal. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd feel so like- Well, that's why you do the little icebreaker with the activity before, you know? Here's my thing, right? Unless I know I'm going to get along with a guy, I'm not going to do that because I get so antsy if I'm not having fun. I'd be like, I'd make up an emergency to go home. And oh. so it's like to know like, oh my God, and then we have dinner after this. I'd- do you think you're not giving them that chance though? I don't know. There is a there is a rule out there that you always go on the second date because it's it's first impressions are tough and usually the other person's really in their head as well. I don't know if I believe that. 
I don't know. I, I, think, tattoos, it's a, I so. think it's a good rule. Jared's going to go on a second date again. He hated well, you, his first date. No, you had such a good time. I had a great time. Would yeah. you marry Wait, her? Okay. okay it's I a really little hope, early I have for a that. question. I really hope, like, do you think people we talk about watch this? No, 0%. It's never happened. Uh, about 100%. Yeah. I, I've gotten some calls and conversations. I've gotten some calls and conversations, and I've only been here a couple times. <laughs> I, I've gotten, like, messages from people I've talked about, like, but like I talk about them with like a, you know, I'm like, oh, da, da, da. Like, I don't like say their name. I'm like, oh, I was with this person. Yeah. And they'll be like, this person, question mark. I've gotten a message like that. And I'm it's like, it's terrifying. Oh, my God. It? <laughs> like on like a clip. I'm like, this is so fucking scary. But if you heard a guy talking about you the way Jared just talked about that. Oh my God. Would, would, oh my God. That'd be, like you would like that, right? I would die. Yeah. Cause he wasn't being any scandalous. No. no You're not. being so sweet. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So second date, what's the plan? Where are you taking her? Can I make a suggestion? Okay, yeah. I like a good museum. Oh. Because it's stuff to talk about and it's like you can walk through. I just, I just want to hold be, her hand. I want to be a good listener for a second. I still think a sports game because you grew oh, up playing sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And Lakers I'm artsy game, fartsy. Lakers game is perfect or any basketball game because you can watch the game, but you can also have conversation. And it's like, if you're watching the game, it's not awkward if you're not talking. Yeah. Because you're watching the game. Because there's know? something to look something at. Something to you look know? at. And but I feel like that applies at a museum too. I do agree with you. I think Lakers game would be better. But museums don't have LeBron James dunking <laughs> at 39 years old and everyone going, yay. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to Lakers game tomorrow. Are you really? Yeah. It makes me so mad. Courtside, baby. Courtside? Dude, mm -hmm. don't even get me started. Are you going with who I think you're going with? Yeah. That that makes makes sense. She's going with Corinna. It's oh, not okay. like a big secret. Yeah. That, that's the thing true. is, I need to be best friends with Corinna and I feel like she sees me as someone who just wants to take advantage of her for her Lakers tickets. Though that's true. <laughs> I'm sure we could also still be friends. Yes. I'll take her OnlyFans pictures for her. I'll do it Dude. all. I will. <laughs> Kindness of my heart. <laughs> I'll make the sacrifice play. I'll make a sacrifice. I'll turn on the flash. <laughs> Stop talking about my friend. Yep. There's a mole. Uh, it ended, you know, she, uh, before she like walked into her apartment, she was like, text me when you get home safe. And so I texted her. I was like, hey, I had a great time tonight. I would love to see you again. And she's like, me too. Uh, thank oh, you for no. planning such a fun night. Wait, you me too her? No, dude. God damn it, dude. Are you, you good? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Accident? That's what they all say. I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's what don't, they all say. Don't you put now, that Harvey evil Weinstein on me. is in jail. So <laughs> did you do it or not? I didn't do it. Let me check your pockets for funny pills. <laughs> I didn't do it. Shake you down for your funny pills. So, yeah, so she was like, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it again. Could you set me up with her? <laughs> You're a menace. No. Don't you want to make sure that someone loves you and would cast anyone else aside? Oh, I, this I is mean, what I'll do. I'm on your side. I go on a date with her. I am the worst. And she's only going to be thinking about the best date she ever had with you. Oh, and the sex is going to be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Such bad sex with her. I, yeah, I'm hating this plan. Yeah, this, is, this sounds awful. Oh, I got you. In case she watches it. <laughs> you want her to think that it's actually going to happen. I got you. No, no. I'll use protection. You're good. I'm just going to nip this in the bud right now and say, not going to happen. I don't know what that means, so I'll do it. <laughs> God, you're relentless. Thank you so much. What time are we at? 106. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Holy shit, I really came in at the end, didn't I? That's yeah. what she said. Don't look around <laughs> like we're supposed to give a round of applause. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> just the spike to the camera like it's the office. <laughs> 40 year old joke and I just said it out loud. <laughs> you guys like that? It's hilarious. I know. Sorry. Come on, Jerry. Thank you. So what what have you guys <laughs> talked about? Like behind your door every day. Um we <laughs> just talked about life, love, pursuit of happiness. And pursuit of yappiness. Life, love, and the pursuit of yappiness. <laughs> I like that. That's Zach good. gifted me a necklace with Hello. his initials on it for no reason because we are nothing but friends. <laughs> Is this what you do for all your friends? She said she's going to wear it off camera. No, I didn't. Well, why'd you get the tattoo in my name then? Huh? Could you imagine if I got Zach that? tattooed on me? Oh, I God. could actually imagine that. Because I was drunk or because it's funny? Both. <laughs> there was only two. I feel like you would have to be drunk enough to think that it's funny to I'd actually I'd wake get up it. pissed. Zach or Zachary? Zachary. Where? <laughs> right above my tramp stamp. I wanted to be wholesome, please. Oh. Big forehead. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for listening and watching. We're going over to the bonus content right now. To the boner. To uh, the Patreon. And if you miss out on this content, honestly, die in a hole. <laughs> Am I right, Alyssa? Oh my gosh, you crazy girl. Uh, oh, we're you gonna, crazy bitch. We're, <laughs> 
We're going to do a giveaway of a, uh, this is going to be the Patreon New Year's special uh, gift thing. So there's a free trial out right now. If you want to sign up, go get you, you can get yourself a little gift of Xbox or AirPods, whatever the Wait, hell you aren't want. aren't you also giving away one of those dates with Jared? We're going to give away a date with Jared. Whoa. Sure, why not? News to me. We'll give away a date with Tara. You're going to come back with chlamydia, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Dude. Um, so sign up for the Patreon, and we're going to go over there and talk about some dirty, dirty stuff. So thank you. I hope my parents thank you. watch this. Seven-day free trial, you monsters. <laughs> I do love your parents because they you can hold hit me at night. <laughs> <laughs>